it's Matthew Sturdivant, and thanks for watching my channel, Giddy Up Bike Adventures. Today we're going to talk about the DRZ400 by Suzuki. My content is primarily uh, having adventures on two wheels. Uh, it's oftentimes been motorcycles, but I'm going to try to get out and do more bicycle adventure stuff too as the weather's uh, turning to winter. And uh, be sure and like and subscribe. I'm about to do reviews on a bunch of motorcycles. Uh, m my wife just got the uh, Husqvarna FE 250, or 250 FE. And got a uh, Yamaha TW200 that's a blast here to uh, that I'm going to check out as well as the Honda CRF 230 All right, so let's get into the five things that I like about the Suzuki DRZ 400 first off it is reliable and when I say reliable I mean reliable as <coughs> it, this thing I have taken it across the country uh, one time on dirt roads, and I also did the western half of the Transamerica Trail again. And I actually have a phobia of being uh, stuck out somewhere where I'm stranded, and that's why I've always ridden these things. I just it's it's almost a non-issue as as long as you maintain it. Um, there are other brands of motorcycle, and that people are very loyal to. And we all kind of um, get our identity wrapped up in our whatever brand we chose. But based on the riders of those bikes, not my own opinion, I've never owned a German bike or an Austrian bike, but when you listen to them talk, they're always talking about replacing things that I don't know anything about. I don't know what points are um, on a bike. I don't know, um, I think that's an older motorcycle thing. Uh, I don't know how to replace a water pump. I don't even know if this one has a water pump. It has a radiator, so I mean, maybe it does, but I've never had to work on it. That's the point. Um, just bulletproof, and that's probably my single favorite thing. The second thing is versatility. I can go anywhere on this. Um, I've ridden it across the country. People take them around the world. Uh, I, I can go on the highway. I can go on dirt roads. I can go on single track. Um, yeah, there's some squirrely aggressive stuff that I probably would shy away from, but just about everywhere anybody else can get on two wheels, I can get on this thing. All right, number three is that the uh, DRZ has been around for 20 years and hasn't really changed that much. So you can they're just easy to find. Um, there's always some uh, available in the used market. And, um, they're, you know, especially with the uh, production of, uh, things coming from overseas, the supply chain being all screwed up right now. You know, a lot of times this is your only choice right now if you want to buy a bike. Um, but these things are just ab absolutely everywhere because they've, they've been around for so long. Number four, because it's been around for so long, the aftermarket uh, resources for parts is huge. There's so many manufacturers. Uh, I've got an IMS four-gallon tank. I've got Tusk uh, rear rack. I've got... Uh, C concept C. I don't know who makes this windscreen. I got the, uh, I can't remember the name of these things either, the mirrors that everybody gets. Uh, Barks Busters. Anything um, you need for this bike, it's the internet is just flooded with them, um, both new and used. So easy to find parts for this bike. All right, so my, my fifth thing that I like about the DRZ is significant. And it is um, something you hear a word that gets thrown around a lot on, especially on dual sport videos. Uh, is um, they talk about freedom all the time. My brothers have always said, "Man, you're so lucky you get to do your passion for a living." I was a photographer for a long time, and these days I write a little bit and I have some books and whatever. But the um, the way that I've been able to do my passion is by having living within my means <clears throat> and having a lifestyle that doesn't cost a lot. This bike, this bike is a perfect example of that. Um, in order to, so I have, I do my creative stuff and then I have a little retail job. And at my retail job, I can pay for this 
that this bike in 33 days. If I was going to do uh, get a um, you know GS1200, that'd be over 200 days of working. So that's a huge difference in time. Um, you know, I, I I've been able to get to 51 years old without working in a cube, and I'm hoping to keep it that way if I can. And that wouldn't be possible um, if I if my expense if I drove a fancy car, if I had a fancy house, and if I had a fancy motorcycle. Um, the trade-off is, uh, you know, I'm a little bit poorer, but I'm not. It, to me, uh, it's like a prison sentence if somebody told me I was in a cube. 40 hours a week it just gives me the willies or they say like yeah you get a week off a year I just that freaks me out so to me it's always been about living within my means so that the freedom is mine um, like I said this bike can take me anywhere and because it's affordable I'm not stuck at work 